Welcome back. I'm Emily Chang. Yahoo CEO Scott Thompson has called an all-hands meeting next week to discuss the future of the struggling Internet giant. In an internal memo obtained by Bloomberg, he tells employees that there's a lot to do. Getting stuff done is shorthand for eliminating bureaucracy and barriers so we can all innovate as fast as our customers and the industry require. That's pretty fast. The news comes after Yahoo laid off 2,000 workers or roughly 14% of its staff. Google has started testing its new reality glasses. The glasses essentially put a mini smartphone right in front of your eyes. Take a listen to this Google video of a person living in New York. Hmm. Oh man, really? Crazy futuristic stuff there. Google says it went public with Project Glass to get the public's input on the product. It's unclear when the glasses could hit the market. And more than 600,000 Mac computers were the target of a hack attack between February and April of this year. According to security firm Dr. Webb, the attack hit computers running Apple's Mac OS X software and most of the infected computers are in the U.S. or Canada. Apple released an update to fix the security hole this week, but the attack could be a sign that the company is becoming a bigger focus for people intent on spreading malware. And joining us now to discuss is Bloomberg News' Jordan Robertson, one of the 65 reporters and editors covering technology and innovation here in San Francisco and focused on security. So what exactly do we know happened here? Well, Emily, here's what we know happened so far. Some 600,000 Macintosh users are currently Currently infected with malware that Mac users aren't really used to seeing. Macintosh users have long prided themselves on the fact that the viruses that typically hit Microsoft computers don't really affect them. A lot of that has been kind of smoke and mirrors. It's kind of like a more, more market share, more problems type of issue here. So Ma Mac computers aren't inherently safer than PC? No, they're just less frequently attacked. And as Apple's market share has grown, particularly in the U.S. where the majority of these infections have occurred, virus writers have decided to target them and this particular piece of malware is basically an information stealer so usernames passwords pretty basic garden variety type hacking and this is something that's been floating around out there for a while this malware is interesting it's been around since i believe some september and uh, this latest variant is the latest variant to appear so and it's the most powerful uh, one yet but different variations have appeared for the past seven or eight months this latest one, though, is particularly harmful because you don't have to do anything to get infected by it. You go to an infected website, it infects your computer if you haven't downloaded the appropriate update, and then your passwords get siphoned off to wherever, wherever they grow. Wherever so they grow. we've been talking about this story about how Mac is gaining market share. Is there anything now stopping Apple computers from being just as much of a target as Microsoft? Microsoft is still going to have the biggest bullseye on its back because it, it commands over 90% market share worldwide for desktop operating systems. And that, even though market, Microsoft's market share is eroding, that's not going away. That's still going to be the most lucrative target for hackers. And while Apple's market share is growing, it's still not nearly as big as Microsoft. What about iPhones difference. and iPads? I mean, the iPad dominates its market. They're also vulnerable to different attacks, not this particular strain of malware, but hackers are very interested in iPhones, iPads, mobile devices, but for different reasons. Phones especially uh, can be ha hacked to record your, your voice calls and to uh, steal your pictures and steal your contact list. Very different things can be done with mobile viruses versus desktop uh, viruses, but hackers are still experimenting with those types of attacks. So how is Apple addressing this? I mean, Apple doesn't really talk about security very much. Apple's had a very interesting approach to security. Steve Jobs liked to say that it's one of the most, it's a very secure system, so it's enjoyed this kind of halo effect, and, and Jobs has promoted, Jobs promoted that when he was alive. Apple has issued a fix for this security uh, hole that, was, that caused this malware to spread. Uh, however, some 600,000 people still have the infections on their computer, and the way you get rid of it right now is very complicated. It's a manual operation. So you, sites like F-Secure and security research firms, they have instructions online now for how to remove the malware if you're infected, but it's difficult. So, 
Um, should Mac users always be on guard these days? Or? Security experts like to say you can't really prevent infections anymore. You can only hope to kind of contain them once they've hit your machine. And with an infection like this, if you just visit a website and all of a sudden you're infected, you didn't do anything to affect that. You didn't visit a racy site. You didn't click something you shouldn't have. You just visited a site that was poison. Mac, user, Mac users need to be just as diligent as Microsoft users, and this is an example of, uh, of why. Well, it'll be fascinating to see this, how this unfolds, especially as Mac computers gain market share and iPhones and iPads become even more popular. Jordan Robertson, thank you so much thank you. for weighing in here. Thanks for having me. Up next, Ginny Rometty, IBM's first female CEO, won't be wearing the famous green jacket at the Masters, but how important is IBM to this tournament? We will examine the relationship between IBM and the Masters later.